welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to build this free piston stirling engine. The name comes from the fact that the power piston and the displacer piston that is inside can move freely. There is no mechanical linkage between the two. This type of engine has been investigated by NASA. For this video, I am using the design by Blade Attila. If you don't know his channel, I recommend that you visit. It's very interesting. In the description of this video, I leave you the link to his video. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. For this engine we need three aluminum cans, two large cans and one small. The large ones are six hundred and eighty milliliters, and the small can is a standard size three hundred fifty five milliliters. We need to make some cuts in the cans. The small can make a cut at 8 millimeters from the can shoulder. One of the large cans also cut at 8 millimeters from the shoulder and the second large can make two cuts, one at 10 millimeters at the other at 20 millimeters. Okay, I have cut the three cans. I used my Dremel for that. This is the one that we made the cut at 8 millimeters. This other also at 8 millimeters. And the third can we made two cuts at 10 and 20 milliliters. This is of no use. We can discard it. Also this ring, we will not use it. And now what we have to do is these two lids we need to cut all around here. The next step is to take a balloon and make a cut here. Put the balloon on the small can. Make a small hole in the center. We now need a screw, three nuts and four washers. The screw is 632 by 2 inches. Put a washer and insert the screw in the balloon.
Use a thin piece of wire to secure the balloon in place. Now let's put the second can here. This distance must be around one centimeter. Now let's put this part on the can. We need to make a very small hole in the can. We now have the displacer piston finished and it goes inside the other can. This should move like this and when this can hits without the hole to equalize the pressures, the balloon will inflate and will prevent this movement. So we need the little hole for that. We have one can left and here we will put a balloon in the same way as we did previously. Ok, the balloon is in place with the copper wire and here we also need to make a very small hole. Now here we need to put a heavy weight, we can use a large bolt 
and nut, but I think it's more practical to use magnets. Using the magnets, we can later use the magnet movement to generate electricity. The weight is critical for the engine. With too low weight or too much, the engine will not work. So for the moment, I will leave it like this. And later, when we test the engine, we can remove or add more magnets. The last step to have a functional engine is to put this here and seal it with duct tape. Our engine is ready, so let's try to make it run. Let's try now with a little bit more weight.
Okay, so there you have it. Very easy to make free piston Stirling engine. Honestly, I don't fully understand how this engine works because both the power piston and the displacer piston, the can inside, must move in synchrony to follow the Stirling cycle. But they have no mechanical linkage. So it must be some kind of resonance that exists between the two. If you know a link where this engine is explained in detail, please share it. In a forthcoming video, I will add a coil here to generate electricity. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.